Okay, here is an original routine based on a powerful procedure discovered by Warner Miller. And I'll add a link in the description below to his original presentation of this procedure, as well as information about many of the ebooks on mathematical card magic and math based magic that you can take a look at. Okay, so for this effect, you need the king and queen of clubs. And then we need to have the spectator randomly choose 11 cards. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There we go. And then you have the spectator mix the cards as much as they would like. And then once they're satisfied with the mixing of these random cards, they chose them. Have them look at the identity of the top card. Have them remember that. So this is their special card. Oh, that's nice. Um, <clears throat> since I don't have a spectator here, we're all going to see it. So apparently it's the King of Hearts. So that is the card for them to remember. You won't know it as the performer. Okay. Now, this is a routine in which you can be truthful in your answers or not. So for example, at this stage, I would ask you, what is the identity of the card that you just noted? Okay. So you're free to tell the truth or to lie. Regardless of the answer you give, the king and queen of clubs will discover the truth. Okay, so what card did you just see? Now in our performance here, have to make a decision. Should we tell the truth or lie? So maybe we'll lie. Maybe we'll say it was the queen of diamonds. Okay, even though it was the king of hearts. Okay, so what I would have you do as a spectator, we're going to use the name of the card that you just claimed you saw, the Queen of Diamonds, and we're going to use that information to randomize these cards according to that card name. So in particular, we're going to spell the Queen of Diamonds twice to put these cards in some unknown random order that's based on your answer to my question. Okay, so Queen of Diamonds, spelt twice. Q-U-E-E-N-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. Okay, that's spelt once. Q-U-E-E-N-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. Okay, so we've arrived at random ordering of the cards that you freely chose. So at this point, we're gonna have the king and queen of clubs help us. So we'll turn to the queen of clubs first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just spell queen, Q-U-E-E-N, and I'll go, I'll go ahead and place her face up and then bury her inside the packet. We'll do a similar thing for the king of clubs. K-I-N-G, place him face up, bury him as well. Now, depending on your relationship with the truth, the king and queen of clubs might find it easy to detect whether or not you've just lied, or they might find it a bit more difficult. It really depends on your particular psychological makeup. Okay, so what, they're, what we're going to do is we're simply going to spread out the cards and find out if the king and queen of clubs were able to precisely identify the card that you actually saw. Well, as I look at this, it looks like the king and queen of clubs have narrowed it down to five possibilities, okay? <laughs> so they're not quite sure which of these five cards is the actual card that you saw. So you're proving to be one of the harder cases for them to crack, which simply means we need to increase the sophistication of our lie detection analysis. There's some additional information that we can now input that we haven't shared with the cards yet that should do the job. So if you remember, I spelled out queen and then dropped her on top and buried her. I did the same thing for the king, but I made no mention as to the suit of either of those. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spell out of, O, F, clubs, 
C L U B S. Okay. And now what I need you to do is I need you to make a random cut of this packet, which will bring you into contact with the cards one final time, which should be sufficient information for the king and queen of clubs to uniquely identify the actual card that you saw. So the spectator would come in here and just randomly cut the packet, complete the cut. So let's see if the king and queen of clubs were successful. Well, they were successful in trapping just one card between them, but it doesn't mean it's your card, right? That could be any card, right? So let's take a look. If the king and queen are doing what they should be doing, this, in fact, should be the card that you saw at the very beginning. And we'll see if it agrees with your answer of Queen of Diamonds. Oh, that's not the Queen of Diamonds. It looks like it's the King of Hearts. And that, in fact, is the card that you saw at the beginning so that we now know that you lied in the answer that you gave. Okay, so this is a self-working card effect. If you just do everything that I did, I want to point out that I used hyper codings when we spelt out the claim card name the spectator gave, when we gave them the option to tell the truth or lie, performing that spelling out twice of any of the 52 card names constitute a false shuffle for a packet of 11 cards. So that spelling out twice just brings that packet back to its original order. In particular, it brings their card back to the top. And then all of the other steps, you just perform as demonstrated. And this is guaranteed to work for you every single time. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.